Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and it is time to make some straw jets. So let's get cracking. All right, friends, so now from up above, we've learned all about the airplanes, the airfoils, and it's time to make these awesome straw jets. Once again, we're gonna use a Google Jamboard. We're gonna do the design process, and I'm gonna let you have partners of three. So the first step is to click the description and open my Jamboard, and then make sure you make a copy and share it with your partners. So here you can see, once again, I'm clicking the Jamboard in the description, and then you have to click this button here and do make a copy. Change this from great gliders to straw jet. And then one of you can put your initials out here so it's easier to keep track of which group this is from. Remember, once you've got your copy made, you can share it with the other students like I shared it with myself right here. Just make sure they're all able to edit. Now we need to put these pieces in our Google Jamboard. Check out this cool strategy. If you bring up Snipping Tool and hit New, you can grab your problem statement and it copies it. And if we switch to the Jamboard, you'll notice that I'm in the one that was created and it has the initials after it. And now if we do Control V, it pastes that on the problem page. We also need to return to the design statement and capture that as well. Once again, just click New on your Snipping Tool and grab that and bring it in. Return to StrawJet and paste that on the problem page as well. The next page of our design challenge is the prototypes. This is where you're gonna show parts you make, but we need to know the rules. So let's go back and check the rules and add them to this page as well. So here are our requirements. I'm gonna snip it, and then I'm gonna bring this over with that copy and paste technique once again, return to the straw jet, control V. And I'm gonna put this in the upper corner of the prototypes and I'm gonna put it in the solution page. So that way on both of these pages, I can double check and make sure that I nailed it. Another cool thing is you can mark these things if you've done them correctly using the marking tools built into our Jamboard. If you've got one that you end up having, completed yet, you can just use erase to clear those out. Let's return to the test flight and we need the test requirements. So once again, same trick, snipping tool, new, grab that, and let's copy it and put it in our sweet design challenge. This would be on the build and test or the evaluate. I'm gonna put it on the test with a control V. Let's move it over to the corner so it's out of the way. If you want, you could add it to the evaluate page as well. You're also going to want a data table on this. I will have a link to my how to get a data table video. I will also have a link to how to take a picture with your Chromebook so that you can fill this out as cool as can be. All right, friends, now that we've got that built, do make sure that you're going to add your own text, comments, and everything to make that look awesome. If you go down here, they teach you how to make a prototype. I've got my own steps, so let's check them out. All right, friends, so here's how you make your straw jets. This is how you make your airfoils. The big rule I have over here is we're always frugal with the materials. Make sure you're using my tape in little bits, and I'll show you how that works in a second. So, friends, the first step is to grab a sheet of this paper, and this is what you're going to make your fuselage with. You can take this to your desk. I'm going to do it right here. But what you're doing is you're just rolling this around and making it reasonably tight. So you're making what's going to be called the fuselage of your jet. When you've got that nice and straight, pull it off, and then you simply pinch this and fold it over, and then use a small piece of tape. This is the amount I want you always using, and you have just created a fuselage. Now at this point, you need to test your fuselage. I'm going to use a second piece of tape because this rolled off right here. Once again, still being frugal, but you can see that is my fuselage, and that's where we're going to have the straws that we launch them with. Now you need to do a test of this, but because of COVID, I had to create a special launcher that we're going to use. This is one of our launchers. We've got a pair of these that we're using now. Maybe we'll have more by the time class starts but you simply slide your fuselage on this launcher and then you can test it by launching it like that. 
Make sure you let it puff back up so it's ready for the next student. You can try both the launchers and see which one works better with your sweet little straw jet fuselage. Now we need to create airfoils and you create airfoils with this piece of paper. Now you don't have to use it all, that's up to you. You can work on all kinds of different prototypes, but remember airfoils look like this. I'm gonna double mine up and see if I can get it to pinch back here. And when I've got that airfoil the way I want, then I'm gonna use another piece of tape to add it to my fuselage. Now you need two of these, because remember that's how an aircraft works. You need to find the right place to put them. Do I put them in the front? Do I put them in the back? You can try many, many prototypes, but you want them to be as similar as possible. I'm gonna add a little piece of tape on the bottom so that it stays attached better. Remember, we are always being frugal with the tape. Let's see if I can do that exact same thing with another piece of paper. If you've got an idea for a custom design, that is acceptable, but you've got to create airfoils that are gonna make your straw jet fly as awesome as can be. Once again, a little bit of tape, hold it together, and hold it together. And I'm gonna also tape it on the bottom. Once again, when you've got your airfoils in place, you can take it over and give it a test. Make sure you are always testing carefully, making sure nobody's out in your space. And it's a simple squeeze and launch. Now that one flipped over, so that would probably be a crash landing. I need to adjust it so that it always flies straight or maybe just learn the correct way to expel the air. So friends, I'm gonna remind you, you need pictures, you need a data table, you need all this recorded as you try and create your awesome straw jet that's gonna help the company. So friends, those are my steps from my room. You can check the information here. They show you different ways they did it. They only did one layer. You can adjust, check. Do note a common mistake was to have your fuselage nose go in front, but your airfoils turned to the side, which does not work. You wanna make sure your airfoil is aimed the correct way. Make sure, friends, you have your data table. Make sure you also talk about how it landed. Make sure you talk about the modifications you made, what increased it the most, what modifications improved the distance the most. And then finally down here at the summarize and share, and this, my friends, is where you need to answer these questions. How did a specific airfoil help? What features do you think made it better? What can you infer from this activity? And what would you do to improve your design if we did it again? The last thing I want to remind you is make sure you set your backgrounds. At least pick a cool color. Even better than that, though, you can add your own custom images that make it look even more epic. The final step in my class, friends, is I need you to share your solution page in Google Classroom. Each of you needs to give me that as a screenshot. And then also share your entire project as viewable in the comments so that we can all click in and see how everybody else did it. Friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.